Jake. He is beautiful, isn't he? <laughs> I planned a perfect second out in Forest. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! instead. No, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not dare to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about... Yeah, I dare say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Starrick interest himself with art? Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She finished a statue not far from here. The statue must be around here somewhere. Mm. Hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? Miss Cadwallader? Propagated by those who failed to embrace and thus be enriched by modernity. Of course it's sewers. I suppose. Why the bloody sewers? his next delivery is on its way and tell him too that I'm growing tired of these working conditions wasn't Starrick who sent me then who Maxwell Roth sends his regards
What a pleasant surprise. You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. <laughs> I look forward to it. Why the Alhambra? Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And watch better than distracting the world with a little light entertainment while you do so. Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received play. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. I enjoy being entertained, Jacob. Ah, the park. The dwelling place of Starrick's head of security, one Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without him. Have your villains mixed up, Mr. Raffles. The man you work for is the real villain here. My most fragrant raffles. How very good to see you again. Try to well, Roth. It's into the back with you, then. Who is this Lyris that works for you? Ha! A bit of an odd fish, isn't he? Came to me a few years past. He's very solemn. But always so polite. As many other talents. Who am I looking for? Chester Swine. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack and you cut Sterrick's ties to the police force. Must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. Bobbies give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland, Yard.
Now, now, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do. You're trying to start something? You won't be laughing when you do the hangman's dance, though. Let's see what's what happening. Did you hear that?
a while. You really let yourself go. Shame. Oh. Now, it's into the back with you. Excellent work. Do come find me at the Elabra. I have more amusements planned for us. This way, my dear. I've something to show you. Hop in. <laughs> where are we going? One of Starik's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. <laughs> when the world is full of nasty things, we must tear those things apart. Built a world around his own. Doing fine, girl. What a funk in you. You must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together. Not a peep from you. Very true. Without it.
Was just here. What happened? Dead. I'm heading back. You lot do what you want. That's one. There. Set. And done. Rigged up. Perfect. Let's put our plan into action. Stand back. Ready. Wait. Whatever for? There are children in there. Jacob, my dear. Starrick uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production line. Not like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon. You will understand what it is to be free, as I am. Light them up, boys! No! What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth! No. We're not.
Gift, sir, from Mr. Roth. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation. Madame and Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, 
a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not. This is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. Evening, gentlemen. What's doing here, love? Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. Let me out! I need to lower the grip for the show. We have a volunteer! Of applause for this brave, brave man! Tia is about to die for you, Jacob. What a brave soul going up on stage like that. You lucky people are about to witness this gentleman being fired upon at point blank range. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. Exciting, is it not? Will our honored guest go unharmed? We praise your hearty man. Let's put that hearty in the test. I wonder if he understands that you remain visible. Excuse me, love. Just looking for the lavatory. Who's over there? Thanks.
That's not my concern. And don't forget to wash your hands afterwards. I won't say. No more confusion. Tense for you'll be done right the first time. I don't know what came over. Don't do it again. Immediately, sir. Oh, 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 that's the way to do it. Away. Our performer expertly throws his knives at the apple, slicing it in two. Will he or won't he? If he's not Roth, Leaves a strange taste in your mouth, doesn't it? Like eating pork when expecting venison. quite expecting that. How thrilling it is when life surprises us. I am not finished just yet. Stay right where you are and the show will continue shortly. You prefer tragedy to comedy. I knew you had exquisite taste. For this trick, ladies and gentlemen, we have found a most courageous volunteer. 
with our courageous volunteer in the box, the celebrated illusionist will proceed to saw him in half. Watch as our esteemed guest emerges unharmed. Our skilled illusionist, Sabretooth Jane, is performing this famous trick. She is said to have studied at the feet of the mysterious Orini himself. The saw Miss Jane is using this evening is imported from the ancient city of Codumano. Celebrated for manufacturing oh, the finest steel in the world. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on! Toast them! <laughs> Your move, Jacob, my dear! Burn! 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 A baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not? this place from hell to Hackney. Bread disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupine has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. 
is up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. To prevent a return of the Dark Ages, I will start anew. London must be reborn. Visual verification. If we're going to move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Burr crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you call father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods! Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. of Evie, treating me like a child. Where can they be? The ball is tonight. 
They must have taken the invitations with them. You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now? I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. private party event. Don't mind if I do. Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been, but still... Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. is my chance. should not attend the Queen's Ball without making a proper entrance. the invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do.
down now. <laughs> 